Hello and welcome to once again another video back with JJ and today we're going to have one of the number one layouts that are inside of the game right now that just got released. Yeah, quite crazy, right? Anyway, this layout is pretty overpowered for the end game players. You can make up to 300 million per hour and you could also use this for beginner layouts. Just, you know, chance for the chairs to your type chairs. Yeah, so let's get some things started here. This is honestly one of the best and I'm going to go over the stats right about now so believe it or not you this is for end game it's up to 10 floors one is uh, by itself and two through 10 is actually unique it makes up to 117 million to 300 mil per hour that is with boost or up to 8,000 to 14,000 customers per hour and uh trust me this thing is crazy so let's get straight into it all right let's go over the color coding system here firstly so the uh Handy dandy over here, the red only for this block is going to be order stand. The uh, two pinks are also going to be, you know, the dishwashers because, you know, sadly there isn't a teal color in carpet quite yet. The little towel places right here is going to be uh, coffee machines. And then the, you know, uh, let's say tan blocks are going to be as well as some stoves. And uh, the white spots are going to stay open. Red, I believe, is the tables. Yellow is chairs. And uh, the pink is actually going to be luxury silverware. And the blue over this will be soda machines or big tip jar of your choosing. And, uh, of course, the uh, Christmas trees in the corner. So let's get building this thing together. So uh, let's get started. Alrighty. So let's firstly start off with building the tables. Want to place the tables in all of the red areas. You know, just about like that. It's going to look somewhere like this. You want to take the screenshot right now and get your carpet set up. If not, it is all good. Here we go. Four tables in the back right there. Now we got all our tables done. It's quite easy from here as they do give you the auto place setting. Make sure you guys do have that turned on in your settings tab as it'll help you quite a lot with making layouts. There you guys go. All that place. Two chairs there. Two chairs here. Boom, 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 boom. It is just flying through this layout easy as ever. Look at that. And it is almost already done. Now, next step is going to actually place in the big handy dandy tree. Now, these things are complicated because you want to make sure the turn is going to be on the corner right there. Then on this side, you also want the same thing. Get the corner right about there. Empty spots on each side. Then on the very back, you're going to want some silverware. You can do either luxury if you have any. I do not have enough, so I'm just going to use silverware trays myself right about there. And then soda machines or tip jars, those are up to you. Obviously, the big tip jars are going to help a lot more. But I currently only have a little bit of a small tip jar. So uh, that's what I'm replacing as. Now, uh, up here. Now, these are a little bit complicated. You have to be a little bit more uh, rich, I guess we'll call it, if you do not have any of these. You actually need uh, coffee machines. Presently, I do have some. So I want to place about some right here. Uh, I recommend putting them in towards it, but it doesn't truly, truly matter, I don't believe. So uh, let's do that. Then in the inside, we need the stoves. So uh, let's get these stoves. It's going to be a four, four by four diamond. Four that way, four that way, four that way, and four that way. So it is quite easy to make. If you know how to do dimensions quite easily, trust me, it is very, very easy. Anyways, let's get these going right here. Alrighty, and I forgot we cannot do that yet. So uh, believe it or not, you actually have to do these stoves a little bit differently, and boom. Now you have an open spot. Now over here... You are actually going to be needing your order stand, which is going to be one block away from the wall. And then on the right side next to it is going to be actually placing two dishwashers just like that. Now, every other open spot other than the white spots, which is going to be two here, two there, and as well as only one here, is going to actually be filled with fillers. If you don't know what fillers are, I will explain once again like I do every video. Go to your decorations and make sure you get yourself some plants. These kind of fillers or the wells. Wells are actually one of the best things in the game. As you know, they give you tons and tons of boost. If you did not know, a tip and trick video will be released hopefully within the next couple of days. Each one of those, you can, have, you can see that some of them gave me some hyper stove for 30 minutes. If you don't know what that is, go to your right here. And just those give me 75 minutes of double profits and 20 minutes of just rush hour. It is absolutely absurd on how OP those are. And I have 300 wells and they all stack. So actually on my alt account, I actually have it where I have to get around 3,000 minutes a day on uh, these wishing wells of just the uh, each boost. So technically, I get up to a lot. And I mean a lot of dang, you know, minutes. So I get over a day every day of just getting boosts because, you know, those things help out a ton. Recommend those 1,010%. But anyways, let's get on floor number 2 of 10. 
and uh, you'll be copying this from floor 2 all the way through 10, just like I said, and uh, it's going to be worth it. Let's go. Alrighty, here we are. It's pretty much the same color coding system. Yellow is also going to be chairs. The uh, red can be tables. Blue over here, believe it or not, is still the soda machine or big tip jars. The pink actually is going to be a dishwasher this time. And then the luxury silverware tray is also going to be um replaced with uh, normal silverware trays if you do not have the rich one. Coffee machines, if I did not state that earlier, you can actually replace those with the... um handy dandy silverware trays they're only around 200k each in the beginning that's not too too bad so you can definitely get investing in those and of course the christmas tree in the gray so let's get the building we'll go from the wall first and that may be a little bit easier for you guys you want two there you actually want to place these chairs in this rotation exactly boom four there now this table is going to need four so you got to make sure you rotate them correctly Boom, just like that, and then this table also gets four. That's how you rotate them correctly, if you do not know, just so you know, have them uh, accordingly to the correct layout. Now let's get our corrupted tables, place them there, place one there, and place another one there. Now we pretty much are almost actually done the layout. It's quite crazy, right? Now uh, you're going to go all the way over here, where is the Christmas trees, got to find them. And you want to place them just in the same thing. Get your uh, corner piece right there on the correct corner layout. And then, you know, you can either grab your coffee machine. Surprisingly, I have exact three. If you do not, then you can, you know, use handy dandy silverware trays there. Now, I actually do have one silverware tray right here. You put one either luxury or normal. Luxury is always going to be better. You already know that. Then you're also going to need a dishwasher right here. And then as well, to top it off, you need a soda machine or a tip jar. I did not notice I actually had soda machines, so we'll post one right there. And then the rest of the layout would get replaced with a whole load of plants, wells, and a decoration item over this way, which can go through all of these, except for carpet, because people can still walk on the carpet. So, yeah, that's pretty much going to end it off for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. And, um... Yeah, this layout is quite overpowered. I've used it last night and got around 2 billion while well, AFK. So if you want a few billion, uh, if you have, but I was using corrupted sets. So I recommend using the best set you do have. If you do not have any really good sets, I am very sorry. It still will be overpowered for you. Don't get me wrong, but it is not going to be as powerful. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know what other layouts you guys want to see or some tips and tricks. Adios, guys. Also, Little uh, hint right here before I end it off. Um, join the Discord server, Discord JJ Gaming. We actually host some pretty sick giveaways, as well as um, pretty daily gi giveaways now on my restaurant. So if you want a free superhero sets every so often, the link is also down below. Anyways, adios.